species, several species, unknown misery, unknown misery, cryptic, cryptic. You roll with cheeky rappers now, we rebuke them. You roll with picky lovers. Boom. What's up, everyone? Mark Lobeliner, TigerFitness.com. Okay, so morning cardio, cardio confessions. I'm getting a lot of these in. There's Pookie. God's country. And here's me, stomping, walking in my big black boots. All right, guys, here's a couple things to go over. Where did the name Tiger Fitness come from? I was asked this via email yesterday. Thought maybe I'd reply today. Here we go. Come on, Pook. So, really simple. About 12 years ago, Chad was in college. And he was going to start a company with his off-campus expenses because he was a Division I football player at the University of Cincinnati. Sitting around trying to come up with a name for his website because he was actually working with someone called Pinson's Fitness who had a website back in the day out in the Cincinnati area. And so Chad was going to start his own thing. Back then we could sell a bunch of cool shit. Ephedra, Pro Hormones. <coughs> so Chad... Sitting around with his pops. That time, Tiger Woods was hot, man. Tiger Woods was winning all kinds of tournaments. And so thinking about it, his dad goes, what about TigerFitness.com? Boom. It was born. It's not because they're Cincinnati Bearcats and they have a strong resemblance to each other as, uh, as mascots. It's not even because of Tony the Tiger. It's mainly because of Tiger Woods. <laughs> So, there you go. That's the origination of the name. TigerFitness.com, which I had nothing to do with. But I came in, and I made it popular by saying, Mark Lobiner, TigerFitness.com. Okay, my diet. Moving on. <clears throat> I'm a, about two pounds above stage weight. Two pounds. A pound a week. I usually recommend my clients gain anywhere between five and ten pounds the first week or two. Just to regain normalcy and, and everything. Yesterday was the first day my water was balanced. Everything was right. When you're really lean, <clears throat> your water balance get all fucked up. Because you have nowhere to store the water. You're sub-Q fat. I've been cramping all week. My hamstrings, my calves, my hands. Everything. Even my cheeks when I'm chewing. You know, my jawbone. So, yesterday, I felt normal. I felt great. A lot of the reasons were I was lacking sleep due to my traveling. So, <clears throat> I got that out of, under control. And here's my diet. John and I set guidelines. And my main goal after a show is to maintain normalcy and eat with my family again. Last night, oh man. So Katie made hamburgers for the kids. I'm on a salmon kick. I got this wild Atlantic salmon. You could buy it at Walmart. It's frozen. It's the long one with the skin on it. I bake it. And before I bake it, I glaze it. First, I put on some brown sugar, pat it on. And then I put on, I drizzle on some honey, okay? And then I drizzle on some maple syrup, pure maple syrup, the real shit. My buddy from New York sends this to me. Shout out to my buddy from New York. What's up, playa? And, um, dude, bake it, frozen. For 50 minutes at 400, covered it, cover it in foil. I put on a, a glass Pyrex. I'll show you all how to make this in a video soon. It comes out fantastic. So what I did is I took those whole wheat sandwich thins. And while my kids and wife were eating hamburgers, I took those to fish, cut it with skin and all, put it on a burger, drizzled some of the sauce from the salmon on it. It was delicious. With that, I had watermelon, had a little bit of grapes, had a little fruit salad. Eating clean, eating healthy. Felt great. It's post-workout. So, essentially I've been eating 100% bro. Maybe 97% bro, 98. And um, I've been doing my cardio every day. 30 minutes, you're watching it right now. Haven't been measuring food. Now, I've been doing this for over 18 years. I, I get pretty much eyeball portions. And I'm blessed with a really fast metabolism. I have someone email me yesterday. Like, hey... Do you have what you did on your diet written down? I'm getting ready for a show. I'm like, dude, 
my diet will make you fucking obese. I have a great metabolism and I process carbs. I process carbs. Huh. Oh, like Paris Hilton's, Hilton's mouth processes penises. I process them really fast and really deep and hard. Okay? I do my thing. So, if you're going to get a diet done, first as this dude is, don't do it. Here's John's email. Do it for you. Uh, most people cannot diet like me, and you guys know that who followed me for years. That uh, I've built up this metabolism, I've built up this musculature, and there's no way the average person could eat like me and not get obese. So that's that. But I've essentially been replacing about half of my protein with Humapro, adding in some extra carbohydrates to make up for it, and my protein comes from, you know, salmon, egg whites, um, chicken, a little bit of lean beef, MTS Nutrition Whey, Cellucor Whey, you know, the good stuff. So my diet has been free, yet I'm sticking to guidelines, and, my th and I've eat I'm eating broccoli, it's, it's treating me pretty well. A lot of fruit, I love fruit. So my theory's always been, it's really hard to get fat if you eat, bro. I'm pretty much showing that right now, even at this lean, lean state. And I'll go ahead and I'll uh, post a pic. Well, I've already I've, I'll post at the beginning a picture from yesterday from the gym. I'm dry, grainy, hard, and I'll be looking stout for my guest posings. Um, June 15th, Burlington, North Carolina, the Alamance Classic. Uh, July 15th, July 20th, sorry, Roanoke, Virginia, special guest posing. I'll be a part of it. You guys watch it. It's going to be epic. I'm staying guest posing shape year round. Why the fuck not? And uh, my lab test. I, I lab tested Dimatize. Um, they gave me permission. Let me tell you, there's something called chain of custody. And there's also something called, you know, people just suing you for no fucking reason. Here's the deal. I'm going to, I can't test companies protein unless they give me permission. So, Dimatize gave me permission. What I'm going to do is we're going to do a special program. I'm not going to announce it so our competitors don't copy us. But essentially, we are going to be the police of the industry. We're going to let you know what protein powders, starting with protein powders, test out. If they don't test out, unfortunately, I am not going to disclose the results. Because even if I do get in writing that I can disclose the results, chances are they'll still sue my ass. Look, I have to play this shit safe. Dimatize gave me permission. I'll let you know which ones pass. I'm not going to let you know which ones I'm going to test. I'm not going to take requests. I'm not going to test brands we don't carry because they're not going to give me permission to test it. I'm not going to test that body fortress bullshit that I wouldn't give to my fucking dog because it's spiked with taurine and other amino acids and who knows what the fuck else. I'm not going to test anything. I'm not going to test Intech. I've actually seen a lab test on Intech. Y'all enjoy them gains. I didn't say anything there. But uh, let me put it this way. If my dog was starving in the desert, I probably still wouldn't give her Intec. <laughs> uh, I've, seen, I've seen things, man. I've seen things. I'm not going to test MGN. Why? I might have seen a lab test for MGN. So all the proteins that, oh, those are so cheap, bro. Oh, those are so cheap. I'm still making gains. I'm still making gains, making fat gains, dumbass. Y'all enjoy your MGN and Intec. I'm going to enjoy my Dimatize, my MTS, my Optimum. Yes, everybody asks about Optimum. <clears throat> I've seen their lab tests. Drink Optimum with a smile because Optimum passes. The VP who just left the company, Alan, is actually a good friend of mine. So I know the inner workings of Optimum. And trust me, if there's any brand that deserves to charge a high price point for quality, it's Optimum Nutrition. <clears throat> and of course, MTS. But they're a good company, very good company. Now that I've tested Dimatize, I did not, honestly, I was shocked. I mean, <clears throat> for their price point on that on Elite XT, come out that good on protein and that on point, props to them for giving me permission to test it. They also left no stipulation that I, can't, I cannot produce the results if it doesn't pass. I wouldn't because I know, <laughs> I know how the American legal system works. But, nonetheless, I didn't have to worry about that because it came out. 
For those of you saying that I'm crooked, they sent me a bottle. Let me explain how I got the, how the chain of custody worked. We had product in stock, purchased from Europa Sports Products. Europa Sports Products is a distributor. They were shipped that product randomly from Dimatize. I was shipped that problem randomly from Europa. Standard batch, boom. Nothing picked out, did not order it for the test. We already had it in stock. I emailed John, our COO. I said, John, I need a tub of Dimatize Elite XT, any flavor, 4.4 pounds, sent to Microback in Warrendale, Pennsylvania. John went in, made out an invoice, zeroed it out, and sent it to them. That's what happened. So for those guys questioning me, kiss my ass. It was done legit, too legit to quit. And I want to see any other company step up to play like we did and vindicate a company and test a company and set this up. I'm tired of you fuckers. Um, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> and to say that I only support things on my site and they all work magic. I sell 8,500 products and I tell people not to buy things. That don't matter. So I don't know what uh, I don't know what else you guys want from me. Anyway, quick shout out. These guys came to our event in Cincinnati. Phenom Fitness. Phenom Fitness TV. YouTube.com slash Phenom Fitness TV. Check their channel out. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all do your thing. Today is either shoulder and hamstring day or back and arm day. Or back and hamstring day. Because I have back and hamstrings today. But I might have a buddy coming in town and we might be training because of his split. Shoulders and then I'll throw in my hamstrings. So tomorrow I'll have back and arms. And then, because uh, I don't want to do hamstrings Thursday because I got legs again Friday. John has me on a split. I'm also doing a video on my plans on why. I'm going to keep working with John Otis Hollywood. Even though I'm not competing. John's the fucking man. That's why. Alright guys, that's it. I appreciate you watching. Haters, I appreciate you trolling. If you say something stupid, I'm going to block your ass. And, uh, heh, you know, I don't understand you guys. I still don't. But, hey, just because your mother touched you in places you like to be touched, and just because your daddy ignored you because you were ugly, doesn't mean I don't like you. It just means that God didn't like you. And it just means that, uh, that you get to troll around in your basement, torturing rats with a hacksaw, and pulling the wings off a fly. For those of you who don't get it, that was a Weird Al Yankovic reference. I'm Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, inciting the trolls. It's not a game. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. Check it, yo. Listen to this North American, you and you did the faulty heritage. I'm not the medicine, better than majority of them. Carcinogenic pen, trap within the negative zen. Labels a hidden gem. Hidden what? Music is my lifeline. Regimen energetic.